Welcome to April. <laughs> it's raining. Hello. It's still raining. Yeah, we haven't left the house uh, since 2018. Let's do this. Let's unbox this wine. We have some wildflower mix. Choose a place that gets good sun, oh, six hours a day. Not Northern California. Not right now. Great. Okay. Oh, no. A bunch of white wine. What are we getting? That looks like Weingut. Weingut. German. Well, out to Adige. This is the most widely planted grape in the Alto Adige. Can I say something about Alto Adige? Yeah. Very, very far northern Italy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, almost Germany. Okay. How could Americans be interested in this tart and light bodied red? Mm -hmm. I am so intrigued. Yeah. So there's been a big push lately. There's like a trend, like it's becoming more and more trendy to do uh, uh, light reds, high acid. This wine is simply beautiful to look at and it truly is. Not quite a rosé, mm. but somewhere between a pale garnet and a red sockeye salmon in color. Bitter wow. orange peel, alpine strawberries, Viscous and powdered dark cocoa. <laughs> so not a rosé. No, this is delicious. Right? Yeah. So in body, in, in aromatics, a little more like maybe a pinot a noir. A pinot. Oh yeah, I yeah. think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Moving on, Blau Burgunder. Nail Blau Burgunder. it, yeah. Oh yeah, in German literally means blue burgundy or sometimes Spatbergunde. Spatbergunde, which is... And in Italian it's called Pinot Nero. And in France it's called Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. All right, this is the kind of Pinot that gets me all giddy. Yep. This is Kevin talking. The nose is dried flowers and a touch of clove and a slightly smoky whiff of roasting coffee beans. Perhaps this goes down a little too easy. This is the part of Italy where you're like, no, Italian wines, I don't like Italian wines. I'm more like into oh! Anderson Valley or oh. Russian River Valley or, you know, I like light aromatic whites or, or, or elegant reds. Italy has it all. And I've lost Jody. You might want to go get your own glass. <laughs> you got my glass. Amazing. Yeah. Italian Pinot. All right, so we're doing the Kerner. Kerner. A white grape variety that is actually a cross between Riesling and a very light skinned red grape called Vernotch. Also, Orshava, okay. Orshava, which is what we, the first one we had. Kerner is. So, Kerner is, of, is a Riesling and, and a Shiava crossing. Of a few successful Riesling hybrids from Germany in 1969, and as you might imagine, is easily recognized by its delightfully floral aromatics. Can you imagine that? And Alpine wine through and through. I'll even go so far as to say that if you close your eyes, you can taste the freshly fallen snow. Oh, get that. We're done with the snow, Kevin. And lastly. Oh. Ooh, I can't pronounce that one. It's all, you're on your own. It's a Gruner. <laughs> I like Gruner. Oh. This is exciting because, I mean, I love Italian wines, but this is feeling like we're getting some. German influence, which yeah. I love too. Yeah, and Grün is classic Austrian. Half Italian, half German, so... <laughs> this is certainly a grape variety They're you may close. be familiar with as an Austrian native. Austrian Grüner is also a wine that has two very different reputations. Oh, it has two reputations. Either cheap and chuggable. Yes. That's usually what I do. Mm -hmm. So this so, is not the chug a lug soda, 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 <laughs> Sorry. Derail. That, please. Sometimes it's the easy drinkers that bring joy to people's palates. But it was my first Gruner Vetliner that made me into a believer and true appreciator of the complexities of white wines. That's interesting, Kevin. This one reminds me of that experience to a T. This wine, by contrast, is mineral forward. Think of a mountain spring water rolling over granite and flint. I like that we both took a moment to think about that. <laughs> Great job on the April wines, Bergamont. Yeah, we did Marque last month, and this is a uh, Alto Adige. Love this variety. Yeah, yeah. this is like cool is climate exciting. reds, cool climate whites, um, aromatic whites. 
If yeah. you have not joined Bergamot Wine Company, what are you, wine club. The hell what are, are you, you waiting, waiting for? for? Oh, jinx. Mm -hmm. Poke. Weingut Niklas Alto ADJ Schiava. No, it's Schiava. Schiava? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he's right. Schiava.